obviously everyone knows the last year and a half, whatever, has been a bit of a fuss. Um, everything's ground to a halt. Um, went on for a bit longer than I expected, but I just kept plugging away. You know, I'm always working. I'm, I was kind of, I was fairly lucky, probably luckier than most of my circumstances. And then after six, six to eight weeks when they said elite athletes can train, I was still allowed to train. So I just made the most of that. I've been training away for a year and a half. In many, many, many ways, I might have improved a bit more than in normal times because you often have two, three weeks after off after a fight because you're all banged up. But I haven't really had that. Okay, so it's one of Andy's in the white trunks with cool trim. Joe Bubia in the black. Low kick from Cervantes means business straight away. Finally, was fortunate to get a, a chance to fight in May, the first show in the UK, really. Uh, behind closed doors, you know, I fought Joe Bubia. Uh, it's quite a nice statement for me to go up away and uh, still win by knockout in the second round. So, yeah, hopefully, it's a sign of things to come. So, yeah, um, finally now, you know, the scene's picking up again. The shows are happening in the UK and Europe, uh, and yeah, it's like got this opportunity uh, fighting for the WBC world title. In 10 days on September the 25th. Um, I feel like sort of something that the last 10 years have been gearing up for, really. A lot of people say it's the most prestigious belt in my time. Um, so, yeah, it's like at the moment I can call myself a world champion, but if I get this, I can call myself the world champion. So, that'll be, yeah, it'll be pretty cool.